Sample 2, gasoline weighs 6,720 newtons per cubic meter. Determine its density, specific gravity, weight when poured brimful into a right circular right cylindrical container 600 mm in diameter and 900 mm high. Then mass in kilograms when poured fully into a conical tank 600 mm across the top and 1.2 meters deep. So for the first, since specific weight of gasoline is given to find its density, specific weight is equal to density times acceleration due to gravity. So 6720 newtons per cubic meter is equal to density times 9.81 meters per second square. So the density is equal to 685.0 kilogram per cubic meter of gasoline. Specific gravity is ratio of density of gasoline to that of water. And the density of water is 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter at standard temperature. So 685.0 over 1,000. So it is 0 0.6850. So imagine if the density is known, you just divide it by 1,000, that's specific gravity. If the specific gravity is known, you just multiply it by 1,000, it becomes density. So if 0.75 is the specific gravity times 1,000, so the density is 750 kilograms per cubic meter. It's like that. Then 2.3, the weight when poured brimful into a right circular container, 600 mm diameter and 900 mm high. Weight equals density times volume. Sorry, weight is equal to weight density times volume or unit weight times volume. We are given unit weight 6720. All we have to do is multiply it by the volume of the right cylindrical container, which is pi radius square times height. So 6720 pi times 0.3 meter radius square times height 0.9 meter. So it will give us unit of newtons, 1710 newtons. Then lastly, mass in kilograms when poured fully into a conical tank, 600 mm across the top and 1.2 meters deep. Mass is density times volume. So the volume of a conical tank is pi radius square height over 3. So mass is 685 kilogram per cubic meter times pi times 0.3 meter quantity square times 1.2 meters divided by 3. So obviously the unit is kilogram. So the mass is 77.47 kilograms.